Hey guys, we are getting ready for the cooking class. Uh oh! How y'all doing? Guys, I have Sheldrick here in the building. Man, just before he introduces himself, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about him just from the times that we have talked. Such an amazing person. I mean, all the love, the passion is in everything that he cooks from that breakfast sandwich that I also love with the grits and the peach Tabasco sauce with the jam, with the fried grits. Oh, it's good. From the mocha. I actually even got one right here. They, they was able to hook me up with one while we can drink it. And hold on, let me try this one. Food. Good. Sweet harvest. It's so good. But I'm going to let Sheldry introduce himself so you guys can get to little know a little bit about the owner, about the Grail Cafe, and just why they came to exist. So go ahead and tell them before we start making all these dishes. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, you are, yes. hey, hey, you know, it's, hey, that's it. You know, true love. Yes, yes, yes. Black yes. men do dwell in unity. So don't let nobody tell you that we don't know how to do the fact because that is a lie. Black skin and skin <laughs> together. <laughs> so, uh, so, um, no, um, my name is Sheldra Combs, I'm the owner of the Girl Cafe. We opened January 1st. 2020 and this year and uh it actually has been a year of thriving actually and like figuring out exactly what we need to do to you know to stay open um it is like a mission of love and everything for our intentions of what we want to do we want to show our intentions of love and goodness that we try to put in the food what we do in hopes that you really take that and pass some goodness outside to the world mm -hmm. now some mission now, some people may say starting a business almost a year in, and then a pandemic hits. How, how was that hump? You know, how was it from March to now staying consistent, staying persistent? You know, how was that knowing that you are a new business? Yeah. Uh, I think it was like pulling from muscle memory of like figuring out this. I, I ran like 11 marathons, and it's that work that you put in that they don't see that Friday night. It's like, I'm not gonna go out because I gotta wake up at five o'clock in the morning. It's like to go running 15 miles and then on Tuesday running 12 miles. It's that work that no one sees, that what it is. It's like, you just kind of put your head down and it's just like, I'm not closing. So mm -hmm. if that's the foundation, then if you just like figure everything out. And if you don't have no shame, you just have, you know, move by the way. It's like, it's too important. The mission's too real. It's like, I got work to do and I like, put your head down. That's how we got through it. And from the support of this community that's like showed us 100% like love from like day one. And it's good that you say that because marathons require commitment. Yeah. And our generation does, don't know what a lot of commitment is. That's why most people do sprints. Yeah, no. People do one mile, they don't run 15 miles because 15 miles requires some type of commitment. And he said another thing that I think that he does very well at the community. A lot of times, especially when the fall comes up, your community is necessary with your business, whether you have a restaurant or not. And if you want your business to thrive, yes, we love out of towners. Let's, yes, we love sure. you from all over. But it is your community, your local community, that keeps the business thriving. And Sheldrick has done just that. But you know what? Now it's time to eat. You know, I love food and I know you can cook. So today, you want to tell them what we can ready to make? That black hibiscus jam. Man. You talk all that about food, I'm making jam. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what, guys? We we gonna lay the light on you because he got some surprises for you. He don't don't get it twisted. He got some stuff cooking up his sleeve, and when it releases, y'all gonna be like, man, because when he gave me that breakfast sandwich, I tell I'm telling you, I almost asked him like, you wanna uh, give me the recipe? Maybe we can cook that. He's like, uh, -uh. no, nah, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. That's what I call the soul sandwich. It is very very delicious. But um, the reason I picked his jam was because. When I took a bite of the sandwich that he gave me, and I could just taste the freshness, the uniqueness, the quality of the jam, I told him, I said, listen, man, this jam needs to be bottled up. This is good. I don't even know if we have, I said, besides one company out of New York, which is Trade Street Jam, I said, we don't really have any black men, male jams that's on. I said, you should do it. And now he's always talking about it. And, and yeah, now see, we're getting ready to make one. I see, yes. And, and literally, when I was making that, 
I put some apple beats in here, and I was sitting there, I was like, <laughs> You know, you just played and, and, like, and I was like, when you ate it, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, this is good. I was like, it was already that love was in it. Yeah, because <laughs> no, no offense to the companies, and I ain't gonna say their names. All the companies get at Walmart, but it's just like watered down, like sugar, glucose, all that stuff. But this is natural, fresh, quality stuff. So today we're gonna be making black hibiscus jam. You can put this on sandwiches, French toast, because I, I love French toast. Regular toast, uh, you can make peanut butter and jelly with it. Whatever you want to make with it, you can add this jam. And now I get to cook with Sheldrick. And I know how to cook a little bit, but he's going to show me how to cook the French way. He's going to show me how to really legit do it. So now I can be on the corner and be like, all right, y'all, I got some special jam. We're going to whip it up for y'all. So what is the first step to making the Sheldrick jam, the Watch real you. cafe way? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Oh. Y'all see, okay, this is a restaurant yeah. who does practice cleanliness. Remember that. No. So what we gonna order? All right, so because I can't I can't be cooking unless we're gonna wash our hands because well, yeah. you know I did just touch some stuff yeah. outside. So right there. Yeah, his restaurant's kind of fancy, so I have to look for the soap. It ain't it ain't just like a little <laughs> bottle that you just, you know, do like the pot pumps in. This is actually like a legit place. Where's the uh if it's house? Right over there. See, you see what I mean? Like, I thought it would have been this easy, but nah, it's a little more fancy than that. So, right, I'm excited. Hands is washed. And now he's going to wash his hands. See, if the leadership does it, the staff does it. And the only reason I can tell you that, because when I first came in, he wasn't here, and the staff was the gentleman sitting behind me. When I walked through the door, he greeted me. Thank you. How you doing? Coming in. And, and, it, and that left an impression on me, because I'm very big on customer service. So a lot of you who believe black restaurants don't have customer service, come to the Grill Cafe, you're going to experience a great service. I can assure you that. Mm. Without further ado, we get ready to make some jam. I'm excited. Mm. Oh, now you got, oh, man, my mama's going to love you. Because, like, you know, y'all know, know how y'all uh, black folks be. People don't got on gloves in the kitchen. You mm. think we dirty. Oh, we're in doing whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 we will have us love. Sweet and I chose blue. Oh, uh, extra pop. But we are like procedure. You know, we're about to get ready to go in. All yeah. right. All right. These yeah. are things you gotta do before you start cooking. I know sometimes we just like to go in like me, but you have to say, hold on with a snapper. We're gonna talk about it. Yeah. So what are black plums? You know, some people might be like a plum is a plum. It's not that big of a deal. What are black plums? Uh plums that are black. That's it. Not special. <laughs> No, 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 yeah, no, it's a, it's a plum in season. We get it from Local Foods, which is a, a vendor, a distributor out in for Chicago. Mm -hmm. It really has access to, you know, fresh from farm to table, like produce and things, things that you would see in a lot of other distributors. Mm -hmm. And I really want to get a vendor such as them to really like showcase and like educate, not from the community or staff, but like different produce and different like vegetables, because I do believe so much is like, that's how, we eat is like from the land, you know, and so the natural. natural, yes, the natural. It's more than iceberg lettuce and oranges and apples. And stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the plums, yeah, the black plums, yes. And then what are these? We got some dried pineapple for mm -hmm. some sweetness. We have some dried figs. Okay. And we have some allspice. Oh, oh. And I gotta get my um, hibiscus concentrate is in the refrigerator, in that which is dried hibiscus. Well. So, so I'm gonna go let Sheldon go get the uh, concentrate. And then we gonna come back. It's like a commercial, but like I, you can't pay me, so my commercial gonna look kind of wack. It's in the same background. We don't got no, you know, none of that fun stuff. But it ain't gonna take you that long. And then we gonna make all of this. Maybe we'll probably give away a glass. I don't know. We can see how much we got left after we cook it. See, boom. I just gave them my whack uh, commercial ad yeah. that had no dollars behind it, so it was kind of whack. All right, so what's can I let me guess what step one is? Do we cut the plum? No, nope. we're gonna hole punch the plum. Actually, I gotta come back. Oh, so now we're gonna hole punch. Now, from what I understand, hole punch is gonna make it easier because you do know that plums has a seed somewhere in the middle, so it's probably gonna be easier for us versus trying to cut this. We got all the juice coming and. For those, if you're looking for a whole punch of Max and where he got his, oh, uh, a place I can't find it today, but you know what? I right, so guess what? We're going to do the old school way. Figure it out. All right, so what's the 
Oh, I'm gonna DC these uh black crumbs. So I'm using a scooper right here. Okay. Because someone misplaced my stuff. That's all right. I'm gonna mop the water for some orange juice. There's nothing in the fridge. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to do the same thing that he just did. So I think he took a. Uh, so we're gonna DC the plums the real way because most, most people may not have the puncher. So I think you cut a little uh, hole in. Yeah. No. What? No. Did I do it wrong already. I did it wrong already. Show, show them so they can see. Okay. So you, so you dig in and you just pull the seat. Oh, I thought we had to create like a little special pathway to it. Oh, man. It's like shucking peas. I never shuck peas. So don't, don't, don't. Bruh. Boom. There we go. Okay. So how many of these we going yeah, But you just said that and you're like passing like how many of these we doing? Uh, you never shook no peas before? No, I think I did. Wait, let me think about it. I don't want to see if I'm lying. You know what I'm talking Have about? I ever helped my mom with some corn? In that I minutes. think I did corn. Like twice. Yeah. Once or twice. Mm. But I never shook no peas. Is it still called shucking? I, yeah. I don't know. I, honestly, you know, yeah. I didn't really like peas growing up. I, ain't really, I wasn't a pea person. I got peas on me and you know. Really? No, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try them because you know, you you haven't uh disappointed me yet in that. That's thing. what they call. Now, how many? If they're making this order at home, how many plums do you recommend they get? So this batch, I think for the recipe, I think I have like eight on there of mm -hmm. plums. So how many you have over there? I got uh, one, two, three, four, five. I actually have three. So you can see who's the amateur here. I got three, and he got five. And they don't look, their man don't look as pretty as well, we don't food process them anyway, so it's mm -hmm. So next to the black palms is the dry pineapple. We're going to have to do a thing like that. The figs I want to talk about, because you get dry figs, this little nub uh -huh. on the end here, you don't want to put that through your process, so you're going to pull that out. Okay, so guys, essentially, this little nub right here, right? Yeah. Now, for those who will make this at home, why... Do we need to get rid of this nut? It's gonna mess up if it go in the fruit processor or what? Yes, and it's a grind down and also it could be a hazard, choking hazard if it doesn't process through. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're not responsible if you do not take this off and you you drinking your jam and you start choking. We are not held responsible just because we put a disclaimer in there, okay? And How so, many of these do we need? And so we're gonna do the dry, we're gonna do several because this is how the thickening, and the reason it's hard to say exact number mm -hmm. is because this fruit may be a little bit more moisture and water in it. So I usually the dried fruit as a national thickener of and sweetener to the jam versus mm -hmm. that reduction process that you would do from like the heat. And so, and if you don't have enough figs, guess what I got? What? Prunes. Prunes? Which are what? Is that gonna make us go to the bathroom? Yeah. You know, every time I saw prunes, I thought thinking about SpongeBob, I'm thinking about a barnacle, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy going to the bathroom. This is, this is. What's that? A plum. A That's a prune? Figs are prunes? No, the, this is a prune. And a plum is a, yeah, the dehydrated one. I never knew that. So I just learned something new today, guys. So it's a nice substitute because you're still putting the same fruit in it. Oh. It's a different process. Now, how are, are figs beneficial to our body? If so, why? Next question. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, some people, you know, black folks be scared to do stuff like, what is a fig? I don't want that. Uh, you you know, your grandma has some fig newtons. That one grandma that had fig newtons. Yes, that's the fig that's what's in there. Okay. Yeah, like this, like dry, yeah. That's, if you open this up, that dry fig, that's mm -hmm. the newton. Man. Well, I yeah. think we got a lot of yeah. Really? Yeah. Man, you move fast. I, I, mean, I need good. to go to cooking school. So we got to put over there. Yeah, I just want to make sure the nut part. Mm -hmm. And uh, guess what? So all spice. All spice. Now, is it a certain seasoning, or is it just literally just like all spice? Oh, all spice. That's it. So all spice. How much of this do we have? It's about a tablespoon. Yeah, I got uh, two tablespoons. But I'll just put that on there. This is a measurement for the meats. But I think that's kind of the taste, and it's going to give a nice kind of like a little spicy undertone. Mm -hmm. It's going to break out some of like the sweet light notes that we have. Mm -hmm. And this is an extra. Um, concentrated hibiscus. So if you don't have like dry hibiscus, you actually can get some hibiscus tea or any of the tea that you can. I just like the nice winey flavor uh, that gets up like that deep dark red wine. Now is that is can they get this from any certain is there a certain store they gotta go to? They need to go more to a market. Like can they go to their local Walmart or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods? 
what stores would you recommend that you could probably find us at? You can get on the biscuit tea, hopefully. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta do better at local supermarkets. That's local about, supermarkets. Yeah. So this is more like a locally supermarket. Yes. Okay. And the herbal tea, like this section. I mean, they have the green tea, the white tea, orange, but for some reason, if you can't, we don't find it. This is what I want the flavor. If you get something that's a nice dark color, you know, richness and like concentrated to get a nice concentrated flavor, whatever that tea is. Mm -hmm. I'm using hibiscus because I like the wine, but if you did like a, a white tea, that's something bright enough. So they can wine. really use any tea. Yes, not, but, not primarily we use the biscuits, but ideally somebody wants to get crazy, say, you know what, I want to deviate yeah. from the recipe. That's what, yeah. I, I'm going to try this little white tea, or I'm going to try this other stuff tea. Okay. Yeah, you know, you stay to, yeah. You in the, the border, in the lanes, mm -hmm. tea. Yeah. As long right. as it's tea, but we, we recommend biscuits. So if you try something else and it's nasty, don't send none of us a message telling us, I tried it with white peach tea. I did English and, and, breakfast tea. And, and, and it was nasty. I was like, well, yeah. We do not concur with any of that. So what's... Um, First now, let me ask you this before we do the processor. I'm at home and I don't have a full processor. Can I still make this? Or would it be harder for me to make it because I don't have a processor? It would be hard, but you could still make it because what I'm doing for this is literally, this is helping me out easier mm -hmm. to process it and meal the food together. But if you got a stone and like, the, and like a processor and like you're just really pushing down and processing, you can still make it. So this ideally, we would have to like put some work into it. But still gonna be good. Oh, um, yeah. thank God for technology. Now okay. everyone, yes, yeah, it's a tool that makes us do better. But we can still do it with our hands if we had to. Let's see if I know how to. Nope. So step one, how do we do the processing? I haven't been in the kitchen in a while, guys. I know I could, but I haven't been in a while. So I'm gonna let him uh kind of show us what I mean, we do. Say. So step one is take the lid off, right? So we're gonna put it. In. This counter is clean, so don't be thinking it's dirty. So we're just gonna dump the plums in there. Uh, yes. Dump the plums. Right. Ooh. Dump the plums. Okay. Dump, oh, we just dump everything in there. Oh yeah. Not that. that one actually Not that. Okay. Fix is last. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You see, I'm kind of excited. I'm like a kid who who you know who just wanna just cook. You in the kitchen? Not that. Oh, we're gonna because push. I wanna see. I don't know how much motion in those plums. Okay. So, so we hit the on button. It's gonna be a little noise. Now, how long do we let this sit in the process? 30 seconds? Oh, post. Post? Okay. Now, why would somebody post it versus just regular blade, uh, I guess you want to call it, just sitting in the process? Okay, easier. It's kind of hard to explain. It's uh, Because you just you lose control. Mm -hmm. And so you want to see, and see like how it breaks down. You know what? Mm -hmm. How about this? We gonna, uh, I think I've been in the gym a little bit, so. Uh, no, I don't want to drop this, you know. It's, you know, it's kind of fancy. I don't want to drop this, you know what I'm saying? But there we go. So you guys can see exactly how it's going to look. And now, you really have to stage in to see, like, really how much, because I'm using the spoons or the fish as a, a thick thinner. So it kind of balances out. So this is like the liquid with the juice. And this is gonna bring some, some add more texture to it, which will kind of put it a little more, a little harder. Yeah. Gotta be patient when you're cooking this. Shoot, this smells good already. That, that, ooh. We didn't even add all the stuff and it smells good already. Now, I do remember this. I think we, uh, from what I used to, I cook it with my mom sometimes, not all the time, but I do remember when she ever using her uh, Vitamix, she's typically doing that stuff with peanut butter. And I will correct me if I'm wrong, it's the reason because we want to get all of the extra stuff to make sure everything is being blended. Yes. There we go. See, did a good job. I, I remember something. Yeah. My mom was watching, shout out to my mom who taught me to cook this year. So now I'm gonna do the post. Put my hand over it. We'll put some more. Uh, All right, we're gonna add some more uh, cones. <laughs> some more figs.
So, so I see the thickness that you're talking about. Yeah, now. Mm. it's closer. Okay. Oh man. So you want to show an example? Uh, maybe we're gonna put some in the camera just so you guys can probably see a little bit. It's not fully there, but it's almost there. So put it in a little cup so we're gonna show you guys. So you see how like kind of thick that looks? Now, how would they know? Is there some type of texture they can maybe look for, or is it really just eyeballing? It's kind of eyeballing, but you want that kind of like held together um, texture of just like not runny, not still chunky that we still have. Mm -hmm. They're literally just like all blended, mixed it together. Perfect. So you actually don't even see the pulse in the skin of actually the um, mm -hmm. plums. And what's going to help is adding that more, lix more, more liquid. More liquid into it, but we want to make sure the consistency is there. And we have the pineapple, which is actually going to be additional thickener and sweetener. The tropical. Yes. It all. Yeah. I already smell good. I already. I can't imagine what the pineapple going. Uh, pineapple going to do. I put this on. All right. Back. Back to Posa. Back to Posa. Man. Actually, like, you, can, you can turn it on. Actually. Turn it on. Yeah. You want to work. It. Now right, we get ready to have some pineapples. Mm -hmm. See that? I see. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Oh man, let me take the lid off. Yo, Ooh. it smells like a Mississippi morning with an LA sunshine. Yo, that smell. I hope the rest of that is mine. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think, I don't know if you really want some jam. I don't mind taking it off for myself. You know, get one of your brioche buns, get one of your grits yeah. cakes, you know, and uh, woo, make it happen. Yeah, I think we're, now we're gonna add. Now, let me ask you food. this. Would they be able, let's say somebody say, you know what, I want to do mangoes instead of the pineapples. Would you recommend any citrus fruit? Yes, yeah, so yeah, that's a nice substitution to like mango or apricot. Because you, it's giving a sweet brightness. It's going to change the texture. Like this is going to be a little more brighter and sweeter, but you get that, you no know, a different uh, apricot or mango. But it's going to work because it's not any added sugar. There's already sugar that's in there. Mm -hmm. Good. We're going to go back to home, guys. So sorry for the note. So now, I'm turning off the so now they're getting ready to add the. Uh, and it's, I got a lot in here that's concentrated. And it's hard to measure because it go back to the beginning when I said about the moisture that's in the fruit. Mm -hmm. and so we add the thickener. And so really, I'm adding some moisture back in it. And so this is all got blended in together. So I think on the recipe, it has a certain like amount to have. But you, if you don't use all that, you can still use it for something else, another tea, another you know recipe. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to see like what the fruit and the dry is telling me versus just saying strictly to like a recipe. It said eight cups, and I put eight cups in that, and it's it's wrong. It's like these are guidelines because sometimes the fruit it varies all the time, and so you have to be able to ebb and flow with that. So ideally, you should kind of be looking at it, tasting it, looking at the consistency of texture, and and just eyeball and say, okay, that looks right, and then taste it, not just. Say, Say, okay, I'm gonna just add two two cups of concentrate because you know what if these plums are actually sweeter? What if three of them are sweet, two bitter, and five are super sweet? You know, so the it can vary. And if you're in see, like these are in season from here, come you know they're actually in local in the Midwest. If you want this still and it's out of season, you know go somewhere else. The plums are probably actually gonna be picked a lot earlier so they can actually kind of go through the process during transport to like age more, mm -hmm. but it's still gonna be coming from another country for that's that. So it's gonna taste different mm -hmm. than that local. And so the moisture is gonna be different, the texture is gonna be different. So it's hard to just say two cups of this. 
when actually you're trying to figure out what the food is telling you what needs to be added. Okay. So, you know, that's why it's called, you know, soul food. You're cooking with your soul. You got to feel what you're cooking. So now we're getting ready to add the hibiscus. I'm going to turn this back on. Just getting ready to know. Sight! Is she telling me something? That's it. Hey, you gotta, you gotta listen. You gotta listen when you mm. feel it. Ooh, look at the wait, can I, Look at the gloss. If you could see the gloss. If you could. Oh, I'm gonna have to taste her. <laughs> oh my God. Almost. Almost? If this is what almost smell like, I can't imagine what finish gonna be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost, how does almost man? It smell perfect. She made the steak, but it works there. Oh man, yeah, almost. Oh my. Mm, mm, mm. No, I'm gonna let him do yeah, it. Yeah, I tried. Good. You know, I ain't there yet. You know, I told you I haven't cooked in a while. You know, but uh, my mama gonna give me right because she she be cooking, she be whipping it up in the house. Mm. So back to on. Yeah, back to on. Okay. Now, when do we add the spices? Is that the last thing we do? some more texture to the jam. So what he's doing is you added a few more figs. Now, it, our texture is different from yours. I mean, you might like yours a little grainy, a little watery, but we want that nice, firm texture that's gonna spread beautifully yeah. on the toast. So we add some more figs to ours. And that's the point of like, the point of food telling you like what it is that you want to do and it was digestive flow, right. necessary. I'm not just sticking strictly to the guy like Texture of the gym. I can't wait for you guys to see it. You kind of stirring it up. Okay. We got some of the seeds. Right there, we still got some chunky chunks. Okay, so we're going to blend it up some more because there's still some chunks. Yeah, but other than that. So there's a few more chunks in there. That's why you got to go through it and you know you got to find it. There's a few more chunks in there. Here's the lid. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, okay. Make sure your blender on all the way tight. I know it's even if you get sometimes. Make sure it's on all the way. That's the way. You see that? Oh, that safety you. mechanism. Safety mechanism. Oh, get your blender back there. Take care of you. Take care of you. To the Grill Cafe, come get you a mocha. Jeff, the tech guy, he's drinking one right now. He's shaking his head. And as you can see, I don't care what flavor. If you crazy like me, just tell them to make you any flavor. It don't matter what flavor they make you. And I do not like coffee, but there you go. And I, it's good. Trust me. You got to try this mocha. I, I believe. What flavor was that? That's the That's new flavor. The Harvest? Yeah, the Sweet Harvest. Woo! Woo! Sit now, okay. Now, okay, this is my spoon. No, well, I need a new spoon. So we had a spoon of dead. We had a spoon. Of... All right, guys, let's see. Let's see if I get a good. 
okay, I'm gonna show y'all the texture first. Look at that. Oh my god, like you can clearly tell like it's it's good, but let's see. Ooh, I need this also. You got a biscuit in the back. Ooh. I that's my mama biscuits. Man, some grandma biscuits, yeah. mama biscuits. Uh, ooh. The oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, man. Ooh, we got that like sour taste. I want to, I think we got some bread. Okay, so he told us something. Now, let me show you guys how much the spirit of excellence is at the Grill Cafe. Okay. Um, he don't even got just regular bread. He got like some special. What type of bread is this? Local. You know, we we do a show. Show him. Let's show him the. We got fancy bread. We just not doing like just a regular slice. Mm. Local bread from Foodie Bakery. That's been here for they were out of Chicago. Mm. Every delivery this all through the good. pandemic, making sure that I was open and had the bread. Yeah. So guys, this is what we're gonna do now. We gonna um. Now let me ask you this: storage purposes. Storage purposes, how would you, uh, what are you doing? You know, I'm gonna hang a lot to y'all. I'm gonna go crazy. You play, you know, oh, okay. okay, see, that's why you gotta know what you're doing. I, I was getting ready to just uh, double jam on the bread. I was just gonna spread it. She was like, hold on, we gotta make it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, wait, hold on. I'm like, so, this is how my mom is like, okay, let me show them first. Yes. This is something my mom would do. Okay. She would put it in a beautiful little jar. Well, all we want to do is just go straight in. But you know what? This is why it's a spirit excellent. And this is why he has a restaurant. And this is why I do not have a restaurant. Because I was just going to say, I was like, so what are you doing with the jam? Mm. Intentions. I know it's like extra dishes. Because you looking at your mom's like, what's she putting out there? Because I'm going to be washing these dishes. Yeah, I'm like, I don't like, wash these dishes. Yeah. But yeah. you know. Presentation is everything, right. and that's why they have a wonderful, beautiful restaurant. The same spirit that Shelter carries is what his staff carries, and that's why when you come here, you're seeing excellence, you're seeing great branding service, because it starts with the management, it starts with the owner, it starts with the leaders, and that's why their restaurant is doing so well, and that's why people come here. Um, so we're gonna move, I'm gonna move some of this stuff over so you guys can see. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so you clearly see you you, you see you see how he rocking over here. Y'all see how he y'all see how he rocking. Look how beautiful this is. Mm -mm -mm. Now I was gonna ask a question as I um as I spread this. What would you? How long roughly can this last? I make it. I mean, come on, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. We should probably get peanut butter. And then we could do the peanut butter and jelly. Look at that. That's just so beautiful. I don't even want to eat it, but I'm going to eat it anyway because, you know, uh, can you have me a knife? Yes. Side plate. Side plate, please. I mean, you might not get none of these. The jam smells really, really good. Thank you. How long does this last if somebody's making it at home? How long does this last? Because we got already preserved ingredients with the dry pineapple and the dry figs or prunes. We have this fresh element, so I probably do any more for my five to seven days. Five you seven could days. get 14 out of it, sure, you would season for sure, absolutely. But we're not, with the way we go through it, it's in the process. You get 14 days, yes, but I always like that nice, that five to seven day, because that's freshness. Mm -hmm. You know, you start getting things, that means deterioration of the product, the flavor is going to change. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, but can you freeze this? Yeah. So I if guess. somebody didn't want to eat it right away, they could just freeze it. Yes, you can freeze it. I understand. All right. Live eating black hibiscus plum jam on some wonderful, unique, exquisite bread. Let's check it out. <laughs> Yo. The sweet tartness in my jaw. This is, this is good, man. I was about to say, what's the recipe? But you gave us the recipe. I can make this at home. I can make this at home. Oh. Yeah. 
I'm messing myself up. She'll come though. <laughs> oh my. I'm curious. You got some peanut butter in the back. Well, man. Yeah, I do actually. I'm gonna do some off script. Can you go? What is it a possible? I want to see what this tastes like with some peanut butter. Let's do it. No, because I'm just envisioning. Man, it's good. So you see the beautiful color, the texture, but it's like sweet, tart, natural. I'm gonna get some, y'all. See, this is why you gotta come to a Black Beauty's cooking show. I'm gonna get some to the tech guy. Let him try. Watch this, y'all. I'm gonna just let y'all hear what he getting ready to say. <laughs> I wish y'all could see his face. Joe, you wanna just tell him? Yo. <laughs> mm. I don't know what to say. Okay, guys. That's really good. Chunky. Okay. I'm a, uh, I can only imagine that with peanut butter. Oh, yeah, uh, good. And the bread too, because the bread's kind of sweet a little bit too. Oh yeah, that's an old honey bread. Okay, uh, I gotta see what's up. I'm gonna just spread it across both. Just I could only got like this one piece. I'm gonna spread it. Okay. Now he actually does sell the peanut butter. You have a vegan peanut butter jelly, right? A vegan um, peanut butter tart. Yeah, vegan peanut butter tart. Now I'm gonna get crazy. See, I. I like a little extra drain. See, I, I actually do it extra with my peanut butter. I don't just need them little thin. I don't like that. I like it extra. Let's see. I know it. Put this on the menu tomorrow. I had Ooh. a girl peanut butter butter sandwich. Yeah, you know who's going to come back? Ooh, back. yo. Yo, mm, he wanna try it. Yo, hold up, hold up. I'm giving it to the. Yo, this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Ooh, with the, with a nice harvest mocha on the side. It's very satisfying. Mmm. Mm. 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 the night. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> Yeah, no. Here you have it. Sheldrick from the Grill Cafe. Black plum hibiscus jam. We added a twist to it. Made the peanut butter and jelly. So, oh man, this is good. Yo, this, mm, mm, I can't wait to make it at home. If you have not been to the Grill Cafe, come check them out. Can you get them the address? One quick time before we uh, close out. Yeah. Mm. That is man. 715 South Dearborn, Chicago, 60605. Mm. The Grill Cafe. Thank you. Every dime that you spend on parking is worth it. Trust me. That being said, thank you guys for tuning in to another cooking show with Sheldrick Holmes from the Grill Cafe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We made some Black plum hibiscus jam, and it was wonderful. And remember, he, he was so wonderful to put his recipe on the Blacktober e cookbook. So if you want the free cook e cookbook, register um, on Eventbrite, and you'll be able to get this recipe. And if you make this at home, tag the Grill Cafe, tag Black People Eat so we can share it. Thank if you, you got any questions, reach out. Now, if we don't reach out right away, if we're not ignoring you, it's a lot of stuff. These are people. So that means we ignore you. That means we love you. We just can't do it right now. But thank you for everybody tuning in. For all of VIP people, I want you to stay closely. We're getting ready to uh, blink the screen. We're going to set up so you guys can talk a little bit, Sheldrick, for about 10 to 15 minutes. So wait there patiently, and we will be back to you in about two, three minutes. Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate you, and we are excited that you guys came with us on another cooking class for Black October. See you guys at the workout class on Saturday morning. Peace!